begin sampling, remove the two colored nibs from each end of the cassette. Attach the filter media to the pump with the wagon wheel pattern of the filter attached to the pump tubing. Then, attach the pump to the worker's belt or pocket, either in back or on the side. Bring the tubing up and around their back. Use the tubing clip to attach the tubing in place along the shirt to restrict its movement. Attach the filter to the shirt collar. Turn on the pump and record the time to the minute that you started the pump. The counter records the minutes the pump is operating and should read zero when you start the test. If the sample is to be taken under a face shield, use a 25 millimeter cassette and filter with a helmet adapter. This must be requested at the time you order your supplies. Here's a tip. Periodically check the cassette for loose particulate. The method recommends a maximum two milligrams loading. In dusty environments, you may need to collect multiple samples during the work shift. After sampling is complete, turn off the pump, record the time, remove the equipment, and perform a post calibration, preferably in an area with the same approximate temperature as was used during the pre-calibration. Then, record the flow rate on the pump calibration sheet. Reinstall the nibs on each end of the cassettes and place the cassettes in the Ziploc bag for shipment to Galson Laboratories. Then, complete the chain of custody form. It is important that you include all the information requested in order to ensure the turnaround time of your samples. Remove the pink copy and keep this for your records. Send the white and yellow copies in with the samples to the lab in the large Ziploc bag. Please place any unused media inside the Ziploc bag, marked with the orange unused media label. This will indicate that these items should not be analyzed and will be properly disposed of by Galson Laboratories. Questions? Contact SGS Galson by phone or IH live chat. 303-257-5500.